What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team, stand up. I'm too high to remember. I think it's November. Hey, man. Back home, you know what I'm saying? Uh, NBA draft was the other day, yesterday. Um, I'm just getting back in now, so I am seeing it. Um, from social media, thanks to them, obviously I am aware of probably like the first three or four to five picks. Um, or either or, you know what I'm saying? I still didn't even really give my opinion, you know what I'm saying? I still didn't, you know what I'm saying, go through everything, you know what I'm saying? So I think up to like the fourth or fifth pick, that's who I honestly know about everything after that. Um, I don't, so you know it's going to be a surprise to me. So we got the top 30 picks. Uh, to be a thousand percent honest, you know what I'm saying with everybody. I don't want to take, you know, people get feel disrespected, but the only players I know in this draft is the Anthony Edwards dude, the James Wiseman dude, um, Lamelo Ball, um, the Cole Anthony dude. Um, um, I think that uh, that Toppin Topin dude, and then to me, the rest are nobodies. I don't know anybody else. So let's check it out. You're watching NBA Draft 2020, presented by State Farm. Tonight, the Bristol campus, ESPN, home of the worldwide. Where's this NBA draft this time? It's a heartbeat in the epicenter of basketball. The NBA draft will be conducted here in this era of the pandemic. We'll hear from the players selected, and they will have their moment. They had a virtual draft, bro. As we get set to start this NBA draft, twenty. A virtual draft? They waited this entire moment of their lives to get a virtual draft. Everybody, come on now. With the first pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, they got virtual Minnesota food. Minnesota Timberwolves select Anthony Edwards from the University of Georgia. You know what I'm saying? I think Anthony Edwards, dude, like I said, we reacted to his highlights. I think he's going to be really good. Um, you know, the Timberwolves don't deserve him. The Timberwolves never won a championship in the entire history of the basketball organization. Um, I could definitely see him getting traded, like, within the next two to three years to, like, a better team. And then he'll just, like, stay on them for the rest of, like, his NBA career. But I don't see him being with the Timberwolves, bro. And if he does, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'll be dope because he can be a better, you know, may maybe another face of him like Ke Kevin Durant. I mean, Kevin uh, Garnett. Uh, Anthony not Edwards Durant. with his mother and grandmother with him there in spirit. He knows which hat he Bro, they really got to do. Imagine being a number one overall pick. This last time, pause the video. You gotta be the number one overall pick, and then you have to do a virtual draft, bro. The like, one that belongs to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Timberwolves like they change their jerseys up, I think. Hats different. Able to share the moment virtually with Commissioner Adam Silver. The Warriors! The second pick in the 2020 NBA draft. The Golden State Warriors select James Weissman. From the University you know I'm saying, and like I said, the first five picks up to them, I already like kind of knew. So you know what I'm saying. Um, how I honestly feel about this, bro? Um, it's 50-50, bro. Because you got to look at it this way: finding out Clay Thompson is now out for the rest of the season. Yeah, I know everybody was waiting for me to say that. I really didn't want to talk about it. I'm gonna have the jersey now because people are gonna be like, "Hey, Clay Thompson." Don't want to hear it, bro. But look, from actually before I just clicked on this reaction video, bro. Um, I heard Ubre of Kelly, bro. He signed or he traded the Warriors. Um, I'm not going to make a, um, a, a separate video about that. Um, you know, Ubre of Kelly is a casual. Um, he has a lot of intensity, you know what I'm saying? Um, so we're going to see what he can bring, you know? Um, he's nowhere near Klay Thompson at all. Um, in my opinion, they had a chance to pick LaMelo Ball, bro. In my opinion, LaMelo Ball is the best in the draft. Anthony Edwards is second. I don't even know how Anthony Edwards honestly like got first overall pick. Like, but he deserves don't, you know, don't get it wrong. He's a top three overall pick. I feel like LaMelo is more of number one, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's, it's crazy because you pass up on the best player, at least top three, respectively, best player in the draft, bro. Like, James Wiseman has a lot to prove because if LaMelo Ball is amazing, which he is going to be, and James Wiseman is literally a bust, bro, you're literally going to be up there with, like, Kwame Brown, the Sam Bowie dude that got drafted uh, before Jordan. Like, you, you got to understand that this is literally the biggest like stage and you're on the hot seat James Wiseman. I expect you this year to average at least 15 points. I'll, I'll be easy. 12 points for your rookie year. Next season 15 and up. I expect you to average 12 points per game at least minimal. 8 plus rebounds. Can you do that? You can bro, you can do that, bro. If you don't average at least those stats, bro, this dude needs to be released, bro. Like, bro. You have to average these stats. Matter of fact, the Warriors slipped up even too, bro. They they literally like passed up on me in the draft, bro. Like realistically, I should be the one right here on the Zoom call. But life it is. It is what it is. 
But nah, congrats to James Wiseman, bro. But just so you know, he has a lot on his, you know what I'm saying, plate, bro. And realize it. James Wiseman at his home in Nashville, Tennessee. Played just a few games for Memphis. He played a few games. Well, no, I'm not going to judge on that because Kyrie played like two games for Duke. And you know who he is. You know? I don't really judge that. But how tall is he? They say seven foot? What, what is it? Six eleven? What? With the Hornets, pick, as you guys know. NBA draft. The Charlotte Hornets select LaMelo Ball from Chino Hills, California. LaMelo Ball. Hey, hey, be honest with you. As much as I wanted the Warriors to pick him, bro, I feel like this is the best probably team to go to. Like, his dad does not look happy at all. He's definitely salty. I don't know what team he wanted him to go to. Like, what team did you expect him to go to, bro? <laughs> like, bro, you realize all the top teams have low overall picks. Like, I don't know. I don't know, bro. But anyway, um... I feel like this is probably one of the better decisions, you know what I'm saying, or teams that he's going to be on because the goal with any type of player that is top two in the draft, you have to go to a terrible team. Now, I feel like if he would have gone to the Warriors, he low-key, and this, you know, I, I hate to say it, you know, but it's true. You know, Curry's the number one, you know what I'm saying, option on the Warriors. He's top two ever to play in the basketball league and stuff. And so, like, you just know Curry is not going to be falling behind second or third option or he's not going to be passing more than shooting. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like LaMelo, it would have been like another Curry and Monte Ellis situation. If you, you know, y'all that was born in like 2015, you wouldn't have OG basketball knowledge like me. So just stay out of the conversation. But Monte Ellis was an amazing shooting guard. My, like, he's actually my top 20 uh, fave, like, players of all time. People don't know. They, you know what I'm saying? But um, Mississippi Bullet, you know what I'm saying? Monte Ellis, bro. Um, he was, that was his team. The Curry came, you feel me? And then, like, they had to trade one another, so they let go of Monte Curry as a better player. But I feel like this will happen. I feel like they wanted to avoid it. I honestly feel like if Lamelo would have gone to the Warriors, Curry would have been the one. It would have history would have repeated itself. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it, and it could have turned left. So maybe the Warriors were thinking like that, bro. But anyway, man, him being with the Hornets, bro, is like low key a W because the Hornets, bro, the Charlotte, you know, the the, the Hornets in general, like they haven't been at the playoffs since you know what I'm saying silly bands was a style, bro. You know, they need help. They need, they're starving. They're starving. And then for, you know, him to come back in there and, you know, they're sponsored by Jordan too. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty lit. I think he's going to average like 20 plus points per game. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, his rookie year. He's there. All the eyes are on him. You know what I'm saying? He, he's his number one option. He's number one point guard. Who else do the Hornets have though? The Hornets, hold on. No, no, no. I thought they had Kim Walker. I was tripping. He's on the uh, Celtics now. So, bro, he's the number one point guard option, bro. He's averaging minimal 15 plus per game, bro. This is a good, this is a W. I don't know why his dad is like this, but. What is his dad doing, bro? This dude is weird, bro. You're supposed to be happy, bro. You really thought he was going to the Lakers? They just won a championship, bro. They got the 32nd pick. They got the 38th pick in the draft, bro. They're not going to get him, bro. I see this, bro. From Florida State University. B1000, I don't even know who that is. There is I think I like stopped at like the fourth or fifth pick or whatever. People Chicago would talk about on social. For Billy Donovan played for Leonard Hamilton at Florida State. Who, he's put a number of mature, hardworking guys into the league. Patrick Williams will be the next one. Perhaps you could say that Patrick Williams is a guy whose career is about to go into full bloom. All right. This is where I had left off on the Cavs. The 2020 NBA Draft. The Cleveland Cavaliers select Isaac Okoro from Auburn University. Bro, why is nobody Isaac looking Okoro happy with them, bro? Going fifth <laughs> that was a late reaction, but I'm like, damn, bro. Some former Auburn stars like Charles Barkley, Chuck Person, Chris Morris has been a... A great number of stars have come out of Auburn over the years. And Isaac Okoro didn't stay in Bruce Pearl's program that long, but made quite an impact. Jay, this is a guy that you have been touting as a guy who could really be an effect. 
All right, so all of this Richard for the rest Sixth start is fresh to me. 2020 NBA Draft. The Atlanta Hawks select Onyeka Okongwu from the University of Southern California. Okay. And there it is, Onyeka Okongwu going in the first round. That's nice. Sixth overall, two-time Mr. Basketball player in the state of California. Only the fourth guy to do nice that. moment. Jason Kidd, Aaron Gordon, Tyson Chandler all also drafted. It's gonna be me in 2021, y'all, man. <laughs> the, draft. the Pistons. With the seventh pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Killian Hayes from Lakeland, Florida. Yeah! Killian Hayes, with his coach, his dad played for three years at Penn State. Killian getting his moment and he is headed to the Detroit Pistons as Wayne Casey and company try to find some guys to build a franchise around. What do you think of this pick, Mike? He's extremely crafty. He's one of the best pick and roll players in the entire draft. He has great size at six foot five and he gives them a point guard of the future. With the eighth pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the New York Knicks select Ob Toppin. Oh yeah, that Toppin dude. University. What an emotional moment for the Dayton Flyer. What happened to that Cole Anthony dude? Round of applause from Adam I Silver. thought he was like top five. It wasn't really that long ago that this would seem to be an unthinkable turn in the career of Ob Toppin. Should I do y'all a favor and speed it up and see just the pitch and just give my opinion or what? I get. You just speed it. Lot in our coverage leading up Devin to the dude. draft goes in the top. The Suns. With the tenth pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the Phoenix Suns. already select. know what's. You know what I'm saying? It's just Jaylen like I'm Smith trying. from the University of Maryland. Don't even know what that is. With the eleventh pick. I mean, after the fifth picks, I don't know anybody is honestly, bro. The San Antonio Spurs select Devin Vassell. From Florida State University. The second Seminole of the night going off the board. Oh, you know what I could do? Hold on. Hold on, I know what to do. Hold on. 2020. Because I think I, I missed some. Hold on, I'm going to do this. I'm going to speed this bit up. I'm going to speed it up. You're welcome. All right, let's do it. That this would seem to be an unthinkable turn in the career of Obi Toppin, who was likely regarded, if, if regarded at all, as a recruit. With the ninth pick, speed up a little more. I feel NBA like draft, Let's try it. The Washington Wizards select Denny Abdia from Herzliya, Israel. So Denny Abdia, the guy we talked about a lot in our coverage leading up to the draft, goes in the top ten, ninth overall to the Washington Wizards, youngest ever to play from a Tel Aviv at the age of sixteen. You talk a lot about him. Like, what exactly the Wizards getting here? It's not me that did that. Draft, to be honest, I think Denny Avila, when we look back, it's fine. With the 10th pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the Phoenix Suns... Alright, let's be round. I think nobody else cares about the rest of the picks, y'all. It's just, them not even having a crowd at the draft, bro, it just changes everything, bro. And we're gonna cover it all right there, man. Excuse me. Coming up with us, Rats and Nets. We're on the road of 3 million million.